Hey y'all, I'm Madison Payne and welcome to today's video. If you're new here and you love budget style and beauty, I promise I am your girl. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. But in today's video, I have a huge summer shoe guide and I've been working on this video for so long, y'all, to bring you guys amazing designer dupes of super high-end shoes, as well as just touching on a lot of the trends for 2020. So that's what we're going over in today's video and we're getting started right now. So all these shoes are either from Walmart, Target, or DSW, and I will tell you where I got it from as we go through, as well as the pricing. Also, just quick note, my entire outfit, except for my belt, is from Target, and the top you guys might recognize from my latest Target haul. So of course, after this video, definitely check that video out, but even my jewelry is from Target. So you can find all the shoe links, as well as my outfit links below in the description. But my first pair of shoes, you guys, I cannot believe these Jessica Simpson shoes were only $25. These are from DSW and I got them in a size 9 typically an eight and a half but if a brand doesn't have half sizes or if it's something that looks narrow like these did look a little bit more narrow to me then I will go as up I have terrible feet you guys I'm just gonna say it which is why I think I make a great person to get shoe advice from because if a shoe looks even halfway decent on my foot it will look amazing on your foot I have super flat feet I have wide feet I have like all of the foot problems so if it's something that looks narrow like this I'll size up and I can kind of get away with it but I loved these shoes it's hitting two major 2020 trends the first trend is the espadrille espadrilles are back you guys it probably is the shoe honestly to have this summer some sort of espadrille bottom we were seeing high-end brands like Gucci and Prada having really similar styles and now I'm not saying I wouldn't take a pair of Gucci espadrilles y'all but I think I actually might like this Jessica Simpson pair even better I think they're gorgeous and they also are majorly hitting the jewelry trend so that's a big footwear trend for 2020 is to have anything sparkly blingy or chains metal detail any kind of foot accent is huge for 2020 kind of hand in hand with the footwear jewelry trend is also the anklets are back you guys so I picked up this three pack from wild fable it's the junior section at Target and it was eight dollars and I also ordered a little bit nicer one from a new day that I'll link below I have haven't gotten it in yet but anklets are back so this is also majorly hitting the jewelry on the footwear trend and like I said Gucci Prada even trickle down to brands like Tory Burch have very similar styles to this so the fact that you can get this for $25 is amazing I will say I like most of Jessica Simpson's shoes and these shoes are pretty comfortable they're not a shoe that I would wear all day not because there's anything wrong with the shoe it's just platforms in general the platform sandals they're very clunky so they can, you, they are a little bit heavier to wear but if you just want something cute for date night or for a little afternoon these are the perfect shoes I think this will definitely sell and my next pair of shoes also does have the espadrille bottoms these are from Walmart they're the time and true brand and this is a very good dupe to the Tory Burch Shelby wedges that are almost $300 you guys these were only 20 bucks and I got it in this gorgeous cognac color you can wear this with so many outfits this summer and I find that these are super comfortable I actually wore these all last summer as well so you can see they've held up really really nicely and I did get these shoes in an eight and a half okay so popping back to the jewelry trend these shoes are so gorgeous from Steve Madden I'm not sure if the camera is even doing them justice they are a summer suede on the side with a cork bottom and they do have the two strap blingy detail you guys these are from DSW and they were only 30 dollars for a pair of Steve Madden shoes I think that that is incredible these did look a little thin to me on the website so I did go ahead and get these in a nine and they fit perfectly fine for me I also want to mention if you sign up for a DSW account you get free shipping on all orders over $35 so definitely take advantage of that don't pay for shipping just go ahead and make an account but these were a major steal they will definitely sell out of these two to me this looks easily like a hundred two hundred dollar pair of shoes and you could wear this with anything like I said we were seeing this on all the spring runways with head-to-toe glitter outfits but if that is too wild for you you can definitely just wear this with a pair of blue jeans and a white tee white tank top or you can dress it up with a nicer blouse these shoes really will match anything. And if you're more of a sandal person, wedges aren't your thing. I have almost, I feel like that same shoe and a sandal. These are from Target and I wanna say these were $25. 
They're from the brand A New Day and they are so stunning. These were also in my recent Target haul and I didn't realize when I filmed that video but doing research for this one I noticed that these are a super similar dupe to a pair of Steve Madden slides that I want to say were around $70 or $80. So these are a really great and expensive find. I did wear these for the afternoon and they're pretty comfortable. Again, I wouldn't want to walk around Disney World all day in them but they're totally fine if you just want to wear them for the day and they do also have this in a stunning black pair and a rose gold pair. I swear the camera is not doing these justice. I can see it in my viewfinder. They are really beautiful. And both of the previous pairs of shoes are also hitting the two strap sandal trend. The 90s are back in all areas of fashion so not surprising that they're back in footwear. We're seeing two strap sandal designs from a ton of brands like Steve Madden, Sam Edelman and these are actually a great dupe from Walmart. They're the time and true brand and Target does have similar shoes to these as well, so I'll link them down below because some of their patterns are a little different. Walmart has these and I feel like 12 different patterns. Whatever you're into, you can find um, a pair of these. These were just cheaper, these are only $8, and I do like that Time & True has the memory foam. I think these are slightly more comfortable than my Target shoes. I still highly recommend Target shoes. And I did get both pairs in a size nine because again, they look a little bit more narrow wide feet props. So my next pair are also from DSW and I did get them in a size 9. So not only are these shoes absolutely gorgeous and hella comfortable you guys, I could stand in these all day. We're hitting two major 2020 shoe trends and the first one is that they are the croc effect. We're seeing the faux crocodile styles all over the runway. Celebrities pre-quarantine were wearing a ton of it as well as the buckle trend. We're seeing that in a lot of our 2020 footwear, the large buckles, which also really goes hand in hand with the shoe accents, like I was saying, the chains, the bedazzles. We're, we're adding any kind of metal wear to our shoes. And you guys, these are only $20. To me, this looks like a really expensive pair of shoes and most importantly, they are so comfortable. So keeping with the buckle trend, we have the Birkenstock dupes from Walmart. These are only $13 or $14, I believe, and Birkenstocks are well over $100. And I saw on Cosmopolitan, and I believe it was Glamour, saying that the Birkenstocks are stilling. I never forked up the full price of Birkenstocks because I didn't really feel like they looked like it, in my opinion. But getting the dupe at Walmart, I feel like it's definitely worth picking up and I've seen Kendall Jenner a mustard version of the Birkenstock as well as just this past week Reese Witherspoon was in a similar color so they are definitely celebrity and trend approved. This one's probably my favorite as far as what I'm gonna wear the most this summer and it's these Dr. Scholl shoes and I was so excited to find these. I did get these um, from DSW and they are a size 9. They are hitting the toe ring trend which is we're seeing on a bunch of celebrities. Katie Holmes in particular has a cream pair that she wears with everything and I know I'm gonna grab them a bunch this this summer it would match any shorts um, as well as just blue jeans anything and because they're Dr. Scholl's and which is known for being a comfortable shoe they are really like walking on little clouds these were only $30 a great find they do also make the same shoe in a black pair I'm pretty short though so when I can I like to do metallics nudes neutrals just because it doesn't completely cut my leg off but the black would also match a ton of different things. And I love the toe ring trend so much that I did buy it in another style of shoes. This is Bleaker and Bond, also from DSW. And this is also a size nine. And these shoes are just so trendy for 2020. We have the square toe, which if it's a square toe shoe, it is in right now. It has the toe ring trend that I was just telling you guys about as well as the thinner straps. We've been seeing all sorts of little strappy shoes. A lot of the styles do tie up around the ankle, which is personally not flattering on me. So I did get these that I just slide into and it does have this small heel. They're super comfortable, really flattering, and they're just a very classic pair of black shoes that I can dress up or down. I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of these, not just this season, but for seasons to come. And my next pair of shoes are hella good. Bottega Veneta, Veneta, I literally looked up a YouTube video on how to say this because apparently everyone says it wrong and I'm pretty sure I just joined that group. But it's the Bottega Veneta shoes and they start out around $800 and go up. And we've been seeing these on a ton of celebs. Most recently I saw Hailey Bieber wearing them, which I absolutely love her style. To me, she is just the ultimate cool girl style. So when I found these dupes from Ego, I was so excited and they're only 
$30, you guys. Quality is really great. They do have this fun quilted front as well as the square toe trend that I was just talking about. I did get a UK size seven. So if you are an eight and a half, nine, you're probably good to go with that size. But I would check out their sizing chart. And the website is for an overseas brand. And so I would expect it to take a little bit longer to get here. I wanna say I got mine in a week and it's well worth it because every time I wear these, people think they're the real thing. Great dupe for only $30, y'all. So my next pair of shoes are the Dulce Vita brand from DSW. And what size did I get these bad boys in? These are an eight and a half. They do have this shoe in a bunch of different colors, but I got this one because the buttery yellow pop of yellow is supposed to be the it color for summer 2020. So that's what I went with. And I do actually think this color is super wearable. I think I could wear this with a little white dress or I could wear it with a pair of blue jeans, even blue jean shorts if I'm dressing it up. And they're actually very comfortable. I wouldn't want to stand around in them all day. Definitely for an afternoon or an evening out, totally fine. We do have all the thin straps that are super in right now, as well as the square toe front. I mean, these are just such a trendy shoe. The side of it is isn't quite espadrille, but that's kind of the closest thing I could compare it to. So you do have that fun texture on the side. They really are a gorgeous pair of shoes, and I want to say they were only $20 at DSW. So my next pair are from Walmart. They're the Time and True brand, and I did get these in a size 9. They were $20, and these are an exact dupe of a pair of Steve Madden's that I want to say are around $80 which Steve Madden normally dupes even higher end brands and Chloe put out a very similar super high end shoe that does really look like a nice shoe. It has a cork on the side, it has the lug sole, which if you guys have been watching my bougie on a budget videos, I done told y'all <laughs> that those were gonna be really hot. Seeing lug soles last fall and winter in combat boots and in tennis shoes and they are making their way over to wedges and sandals. So I wanted to have at least one pair of lug sole shoes this summer and this is a really, really popular popular style. You're going to see this style everywhere. So keeping with the cork, I picked up these from Target. I want to say they were $25. They also have these in just neutral colors if you're looking for a thin strappy sandal and you don't want to do the cork, although I think cork is just perfect for summertime. I feel like it's really always trendy. And these are just super comfortable. They match a lot of things. And I just think every woman needs a two strap heel of some kind. I just think in general, this style of shoe is so classic. It matches everything from a cute pair of white shorts to a pair of denim, and it's just a very classic style. I could wear this 10 years from now and not look dated at all. I did get these in an eight and a half, and y'all, it's a great dupe for a Schultz shoe. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Um, on Revolve that I saw for $170. They look identical, you guys. So save your money and definitely order these from Target instead. Also from Target and also with our cork theme are these awesome cork wedge mules. Mules are really popular in general right now. And not only is this shoe comfortable as hail, the price is right. It's only $25. They do have it in a bunch of different colors, but I loved the cognac color it comes in. And it looks super similar to shoes that we're seeing by Chloe and Jimmy Choo for much higher price tags. It really does look like a very expensive shoe. Again, this is something that you can wear with anything this summer from a dress to shorts to jeans, the possibility are endless and most importantly they're super comfortable okay I'm on the ground because I'm actually shooting my foot cam of all the shoe shots that you guys have been seeing and I just realized that I didn't tell you guys about my favorite pair of white sneakers for summer so excuse the fact that we are at a different angle down here and also excuse the fact that they are really dirty but that's because they are so well worn and well loved these are from DSW Everything else was under $30. This is the only thing that was $50. And even though they do look dirty, I can just throw them in the washing machine. I don't put them in the dryer, but I can just throw them in the washing machine and most of it will come out. I'm not super picky about them because it's white and they will get dirty, but I love the fact that these white tinnies have the thick platform. I'm super short, 5'2", 5'3", and a lot of times sneakers cut me off and make my legs look even stubbier than they are. So having the little bit of height on the platform is so cute. You can also wear this with a lot of things. I've even worn this with dresses in lieu of heels. I'll save you guys the up close shot on these because they are pretty dirty. I do desperately need to wash them, but I think these are worth every penny. I wear them a lot. I definitely wouldn't walk all day in them, not because the tennis shoe themselves is uncomfortable, but like I said, platforms are just a heavier, chunky shoe, and sometimes I even pop out of these. 
but if I'm just wearing them for the afternoon or the evening, they are totally fine and they are super, super cute. And I also got these in a size nine. I got a lot of shoes in a size nine. Maybe that's actually my true size, y'all. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. Please comment below what your favorite style was. I would love to hear. And if you want more budget styling, be sure to check out this playlist right here. I have a lot of really great style tips and budget finds. And until my next video, guys, thank you so much for watching.